Howdy y'all, it's Russell back with Gwinnett Lawns in beautiful, that's right, Atlanta, Georgia. Today is, what is today, May the 8th, 2022. And on today's video, I am going to give you my, well it's technically my one month and three day review and update of the Mo and Go ramp system. So I'm going to tell you what I like about it. I'm going to tell you uh, a couple modifications that I did to it, what I would have done differently, and what I don't like about it. So um, let's just start from the uh, from the top. So basically, when I get out of the truck, I will get out. I always exit around here. I pop this latch here, and I walk over here. I'll pop this latch right here. And then I'll put the ramp down. Now notice I did that with just one hand. So one of the modifications that I made was I got two of the handles uh, from Dale Otero at Mo and Go. And I put those on here because um, what I experienced with my box truck, unfortunately, is that this expanded metal, while it is nicely welded, and it is probably about three quarters of the way in. Uh, if you grab this the wrong way and slide your hand back, you can cut your hand. This stuff is sharp. Um, it's just the nature of it. So I wanted some handles. Um, and I've got them placed here and here. And technically I only need this handle right here. Because it will go right up. Notice I'm just doing this with one hand. But I've got both of them there, and I normally grab it with both hands. Now, you'll also notice I put a peg handle over here. And I'm going to show you why in just a minute. So let me just set this here. And so normally what I would do is when I'm done, I've loaded everything up. I'll just lift this up like this. And I want you to notice something. Notice that the ramp... It doesn't want to uh, see if you guys are seeing what I'm seeing. Oh, don't let it do that. Okay, so notice the ramp. It doesn't want to go up unless I push it really hard. Let me show you one. The spring, this is a double spring, right? What I have to do is because it's it's pretty stout i just push my hand here and do it like that and then i will go ahead and put this in here uh, occasionally if i forget i get distracted or whatever when i get out of the truck instead of coming here to do this latch and this latch i have gone around to the front for whatever reason and then since i'm already over here i'll Undo this latch right here. Let me put this right here so I don't let it slam. I'll do this latch right here, right? I'll come over here and do this latch. Now, just because of the reason I have the handle over here, I've got a peg handle here, and I can just let it come down just like this. Um, the handle, the peg handle, I would have put here. Obviously, I can't because the spring's in the way, and there's really no good place to do it, but it's fine. Um, you just got to make sure to keep your hand out of the, obviously, out of the middle. Um, that peg handle, I just went and got a long, I think it was a like a 5 inch bolt. This is a piece of 3 8 inch black iron pipe, uh, a couple nuts and a washer just to keep it, and it works really good. So uh, you could use this if you wanted to in place of these handles, but I like these handles they're, um, because they're curved. And uh, if I wanted to strap something to this, I could. Makes a good, um, good place to do that. Now, let me put this back down again. The ramp is really, really easy with this spring assist. If you have one of the older ramps and you don't have the spring assist, I highly recommend you get one from Dale. Now, I have had to 
readjust this uh, a few times because I guess because it settled in a little bit you can see right here that the space between here and here is a little less than the space between here and here and that's okay uh, my main concern and I had to adjust this twice was that this right here was lifted up a little bit um, and the way that I corrected that was I just um, loosened the top bolt on the uh, vertical actually I loosened both of them and then loosened these two nuts here stuck the uh, pry bar in here and just move this dovetail up just a little bit more it's gonna you're probably gonna have to adjust it once or twice after you put the mower on and off it'll settle in and I've done that since and I haven't had to do anything after that so it stayed it's nice and even here and here which is perfectly fine I don't mind if it's off just a little bit it's not going to go anywhere now let me give you a safety tip and I should have done this on the box truck ramp okay first thing if you order one of these ramps don't do like I did get the powder coating all right it took me several days to paint this properly I had to use tons I went through like six or eight cans of primer of the rust-oleum professional primer and then six or eight six cans or so of the uh, gloss black professional and it works great it's durable but it's a pain in the butt spring and get the powder coating so all you have to do when you get the ramps is just install them if I had to do it again I would get the powder coating now because this is gloss black paint uh, it's fine when it's dry but let me tell you something when the morning dew is on there or it has rained two times I have fallen and it's a good thing I got, got fast reflexes and strong bones because I fell and landed right smack on my hip I mean just instantaneously so what I did was I went on Amazon I'll put a link in the description I got this grip tape this stuff is phenomenal it's super thick it's very very sticky and I put strips here here I, I didn't want to put anything over the sign um, I put a, some strips here on the side over there and let me tell you what when this is wet you will not slip at all at all if you don't have a sign here then just put two more strips down like that okay that made a world of difference I'm telling you because usually when I load this thing up it is uh, it's wet because it's very humid here and it helped tremendously that's the best best thing I did with this ramp so far now let's talk about the um, the noise it makes when you're going down the street you hear that this ramp doesn't rattle shake squeak it doesn't do anything I don't even know it's back there it's really weird it's very well made there's nothing I don't like about the construction of it um, it's a good it's good it's good good I like it would I order another one absolutely if I needed another ramp I would order another one in a heartbeat there's, there is nothing that I don't like about it um, yeah I just would have gotten the powder coating uh, the spring thing is kind of weird but it's I love, I love the spring being able just to lift this up with one hand and you can if I push this it'll fold itself in Uh, it's just weird and it's just because it's a long spring you know it's a double spring and I have to push I have to push this in like this all right you guys see me doing that because the legs are trying to go see how the sign is curved in a little bit this is really thin aluminum so the legs here are, tr are keeping the gate from closing that's not normally how it is um, if I didn't have that sign there, it would just drop right in. But I love this ramp. 
Now let's be honest. Do I like the ramp better than the box truck? Of course not. I miss the box truck. The box truck went to a really good home. Um, and it's been quite an adjustment doing <laughs> my lawn care out of this pickup truck. I need a long bed pickup truck. Uh, but that's, I don't have a long bed pickup truck. So my stuff barely fits in here. I've got, I don't know if I showed y'all, I made two magnetic mounts. Um, maybe I did, I don't know if I did a video, but I, I welded up these brackets and got some super strong magnets, it made them adjustable. So if I get different trimmers, this is where I usually carry the hedge trimmer. And uh, of course I made the rack right there. There's my new uh, back glass. So I'll put this, this uh, aluminum window screen here so there won't be any more rocks being thrown or however it got uh, met my windshield but it, it won't definitely definitely won't go through here um, so it's functional it works uh, the insurance super cheap it was expensive on the box truck like 200 bucks a month but it was nice not having to load and unload stuff but let me tell you something this ramp is a thousand times better than having a trailer this right here if you have a pickup truck and your mower will fit in between the wheel wells i would say go with this instead of a trailer unless you need a trailer for hauling and stuff like that which i don't this is a service truck so this has been perfect love the mow and go highly recommend it uh, dale did a great job engineering it and i know he's changed it over the uh couple years that he's had it and he's probably going to continue to make improvements but works perfect it's really 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 good uh, and i also like the uh the led tail lights and the uh the tag holder it's really nice so yeah that is my 30 day review um there's really you know i just keep an eye on the bolts and stuff and you know hopefully uh It'll last a long, long time. But anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. Uh, I will put a link to Dale's website down in the description and also a link to the grip tape. If you're using a ramp on anything, whether it's a trailer, a box truck, one of these, a ramp rack, put that grip tape on there. I'm telling you, it will save your butt. Anyway, thank you, and I will talk to you guys on the next video.